We begin in the Northwest Territories, where a judge has acquitted a youth charged with second-degree murder in Bechicle in July of 2023. The accused, who was 16 at the time, cannot be identified under the Youth Criminal Justice Act. RCMP found the body of Dion Erasmus on July 18, 2023, off a residential street. The CBC's Nadir Hashmi reports. CBC spoke to Crown Prosecutor Blair McPherson after the verdict today. He said Judge R.D. Gorin acquitted the accused of the murder charge. McPherson said the main issue with the case was identification, and the Crown couldn't prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the accused was the one who committed the murder. During the investigation, the police had seized two weapons, a golf club and a kitchen knife around 27 meters from where Erasmus was found, which had Erasmus's DNA, but the forensic report stated the accused's DNA was not found on either of the murder weapons. McPherson said therefore the Crown had to prove the charge through witness testimonies. Throughout the three-day trial, there were several witnesses testifying hearing a loud altercation during that morning. But nobody could actually provide evidence that the accused was the person who stabbed Erasmus. One witness previously gave a statement to the RCMP that he saw the accused with a knife that morning but he recanted to that on the witness stand in court. Because of this, McPherson said the Crown could not admit his statement into evidence. With the accused acquitted, McPherson said his thoughts are with the victim's family. CBC spoke to Erasmus's mother about the verdict. She said she's very upset and declined to talk about it. So far, no one has been res held responsible for DNA Erasmus's death. Nadir Hashmi, CBC News, Yellowknife.